of our method for the preparation of isotonic solution. Today we will study the sodium chloride equivalent method of for the preparation of a isotonic solution. Acetonic solution as we have already discussed it uh, in a solution uh, that uh, has the same tonicic effect uh, as that of the blood or liquid secretion it will be called acetonic solution uh, why the use of this sodium chloride equivalent method uh, needed uh, we will make it uh, clear here in this uh, in these two example first example is a uh, uh, if someone says that we have 5% uh, 0.5 percent weight by volume solution of uh, sodium chloride uh, and uh, we have to make it uh, isotonic as we know that it is a well established fact that 0.9% weight by volume solution of a sodium chloride is a isotonic with the blood and lacrimal secretion but here we have 0.4% so 0 0.9 minus 0.4 5 here we have 0.5 so 0.4 percent weight by volume or 0.4 gram per 100 ml what does this mean this mean 0.5 percent mean 0.5 gram per 100 ml and this 0.9 mean 0.9 gram per 100 ml so 0.5 percent minus 0.9 percent minus 0.5 percent gives 0.4 percent weight by volume or 0.4 gram per 100 ml so it means that 0.4 gram of sodium chloride will be added uh, to make it uh, isotonic but this is not so simple in case of other substances for example if someone says that uh, we have 100 ml of 1% uh, weight by volume solution of uh, atropine sulfate and uh, we have to make it uh, isotonic with uh, lacrimal fluids now what we will do here in this case uh, this 1% uh, weight by volume solution of atropine sulfate uh, it mean 1 gram per 100 uh, ml uh. this is not isotonic with lacrimal secretion but uh, to make it uh, isotonic uh, what shall be the amount of uh, or what would be the amount of uh, sodium chloride to be added this is a question mark this uh, 
uh, if this solution was not containing this atropine sulfate uh, for example it was not containing it was uh, not containing atropine sulfate uh, it was just uh, 100 ml water and we have to make it uh, isotonic uh, you would have to add uh, 0.9 gram sodium chloride but no it uh, contain 1% uh, or 1 gram atropine sulfate this atropine sulfate will also exert some osmotic pressure so it will disturb the tonicity of a solution but how much uh, osmotic pressure it will exert we will first find this and then we will find the amount of sodium chloride to be added to this solution for this purpose the concept of sodium chloride equivalent uh, was laid down uh, what is a uh, tonicic equivalent of uh, some substance uh, tonicic equivalent tonicic equivalent uh, mean that is the quantity of one substance that is uh, the equivalent or that is equal and tonicic effect or osmotic pressure effect huh? to a given quantity of huh? other substance For example, we know that uh, 17.3 gram of uh, boric acid and 0.9 gram of uh, sodium chloride will make a uh, 100 ml solution uh, sorry and 9.09 gram of sodium chloride will make a 100 ml solution 1000 ml solution isotonic So by simple proportion we can find this uh, that 17.3 gram of boric acid uh, is equal to 9.09 gram of uh, 
which is 0.9 percent uh, or 0.909 percent and 9.09 .09 per thousand ml and 0 0.09 gram of uh, sodium chloride now how much this uh, one gram of boric acid will be equal to one gram of boric acid uh, is equal to how much gram of uh, this sodium chloride quantity decreases here will also the quantity decrease write both these at the top 1 gram divided by 17.3 gram is equal to x gram divided by 9.09 .09 gram cross multiply 17.3 x will become equal to 9.09 .09 gram x will become equal to 0.52 gram of sodium chloride this x means that 1 gram of uh, boric acid is uh, equal to 0.52 gram of uh, sodium chloride this is uh, both these are uh, having the same os osmotic pressure effect are uh, having the same tonic effects uh, now in other case uh, if we want to find that uh, one gram of uh, sodium chloride will be equal to how many grams of uh, boric acid again cross multiply uh, right x divided by 17.3 1 divided by 9 point zero nine nine point zero nine x will become equal to seventeen point three x will become equal to one point nine zero gram of uh, boric acid this means that one gram of sodium chloride is uh, equal to one point nine zero gram of uh, boric acid Now let us come towards the original concept of uh, sodium chloride equivalent what it is sodium chloride equivalent is a uh, uh, it can be found by the formula that uh, molecular weight of sodium chloride Or E value divided by I value or dissociation constant value of sodium chloride divided by molecular weight of home. any other substance. divided by I value of uh, other uh, substance if we write this formula in this way molecular weight of uh, sodium chloride divided by I sodium chloride is equal to molecular weight of uh, 
other substance divided by i other substance now let us uh, come toward our example of uh, sodium chloride equivalent uh, in case of atropine sulfate what is the molecular weight of sodium chloride it is equal to 58.5 gram now boric acid if uh, we will first uh, make clear with boric acid and then we will make to what make calculation for atropine sulfate uh, molecular weight of sodium chloride is equal to 58.5 gram molecular weight of boric acid is equal to and also dissociation constant for sodium chloride is 1.8 uh, molecular weight of uh, boric acid is a uh, exert point uh, 8 grams and I will be equal to 1 because it is a uh, non electrolyte so it is not dissociated so what will be sodium chloride equivalent for boric acid sodium chloride equivalent for boric acid or E value for boric acid what will be it 58.5 divided by 1.8 divided by molecular weight of uh, 61.8 divided by 1 so it will become equal to 58.5 if you will make this into convert this into multiplication we will write 1 by 8 or uh, this 8 will come here 61.8 uh, this 1 if we convert it into multiplication it will become 1 and 1 so what will be the a value obtained from this This will become equal to 0.52. So the sodium chloride equivalent for boric acid is a 0.52. Now sodium chloride equivalent for a atropine sulfate. I will find this so uh, here again the same formula we will use that uh, E value is equal to our sodium chloride equivalent value is equal to molecular weight of sodium chloride divided by I value of sodium chloride divided by molecular weight of uh, atropine sulfate divided by I value of uh, atropine I value of atropine what is the molecular weight of uh, sodium chloride we know that what the molecular weight of uh, sodium chloride is equal to 58.5 grams now molecular weight of uh, atropine sulfate how much this this is a uh, 695 grams what is its I value I value is 1.8 what is the I value for atropine sulfate it is a 
2.6 this i value is available on both these i value are available in literature is also given in a practice problems these values are given we have just to find this one. e value from this formula it's the most important formula for e value which you must memorize on simply this is the for the tonicity are having the same tonicic effect huh? a tonicic equivalent huh? uh, of two substances huh? how they will become tonicic equivalent huh? the quantities of two substances huh? they will be actually they are being multiplied with the dissociation constant of uh, each other now in this example it will become much clearer uh, what is the molecular weight of uh, sodium chloride it is 58.5 grams and what is its dissociation constant its dissociation constant is 1.8 uh, what is the molecular weight of atropine sulfate it is uh, 695 gram and its dissociation constant is a uh, 2.6 now e value will become equal to 58.5 according to mathematics rule if we convert this division into multiplication we will write it as 1 divided by 8 so 1 will become here and 1 by 8 will it will be written as like this huh? and in this case uh, 695 if we will convert this into multiplication we will write it uh, as 1 divide 1 multiplied by 2.6 now where e value will become equal to 58.5 multiplied by 2.6 divided by 695 multiplied by 1.8 now a general rule a general formula convenient rule we can find that uh, quantities of two substances that are iso uh, that are tonicic equivalents these two substances that are tonicic equivalents uh, are proportional to their molecular weight this is the molecule their molecular weight multiplied by dissociation constant of the other substance this will give us the e value so the e value in this case for atropine sulfate it will be 0 0.12 gram 0 0.12 gram so what does this mean this mean that uh, 0.12 gram of uh, sodium chloride is uh, represented by 1 gram of atropine one gram of atropine is equal to point uh, one two gram of uh, sodium chloride so for uh, making a uh, one percent atropine sulfate solution We are making 100 ml of 1% huh? atropine sulfate solution isotonic huh? how much sodium chloride will be added now it became a bit uh, easier that 1% uh, mean 1 gram this one percent mean one gram and this one gram represent point one two gram of a sodium chloride but to make a hundred ml solution isotonic we have to add point nine percent 
or 0.90 percent sodium chloride or 0.90 gram of sodium chloride now it is very easy just simply subtract 0 0.12 grams because uh, we have seen here that this one gram of uh, atropine sulfate represent 0 0.12 gram of sodium chloride uh, so to make 100 ml solution isotonic we need 0.90 uh, percent or 0 0.90 gram of sodium chloride so already one gram of atropine sulfate is present in this 100 ml solution let us take this is a 100 ml solution of a atropine sulfate it contain already one gram of a atropine and this one gram has the same tonic effect as that of 0.12 gram of sodium chloride so you must uh, you may consider that uh, 0.12 gram of sodium chloride is present in this solution or it is a or this solution is having the same tonic effect as that 0.12 gram of sodium chloride would have been present in it but this is a 100 ml solution and we know that uh, 100 ml solution should not contain 0.12 gram of sodium chloride rather it should contain 0 0.90 gram of uh, sodium chloride so we have to add additional quantity of sodium chloride how much just subtract this 0 0.12 gram of sodium chloride which is represented by 1 gram of atropine how much uh, quantity will become equal 8 sorry 8 7 0 0.78 gram of uh, sodium chloride will be added to this to make this 100 ml solution isotonic Point seven eight gram of sodium chloride. Substrate just substrate this. This give us 0 0.78 gram of uh, sodium chloride. So this much quantity of sodium chloride must be added to this 100 ml solution to make this solution isotonic. A very simple method, a very interesting method for the preparation of isotonic solution preparation method. This was a uh, sodium chloride equivalent method in this method uh, we first uh, find that the substance which is present uh, in solution with us uh, how it uh, affect the tonicic, uh, tonicity of the solution and uh, how much uh, quantity represent uh, of sodium chloride when we find this uh, that uh, one, uh, the quantity of substance are uh, for example one gram of atropine sulfate uh, when it is present uh, and 100 ml uh, it represent 0.12 gram of uh, sodium chloride why because of this uh, sodium chloride equivalent uh, will you we can say that uh, 1 gram of atropine sulfate uh, represent 0.12 gram of sodium chloride when this quantity is found we can easily find a remaining amount of sodium chloride which must be added uh, to this this is a very simple example in the preceding example we will take another a bit complicated example so we will discuss the procedure for a complicated example what should be the procedure for 
preparation of a isotonic solution by sodium chloride equivalent to method the procedure uh, includes several steps in the step first what we have to do in this step calculate uh, the amount in gram of sodium chloride of sodium chloride represented by the ingredient in the prescription in the prescription we will make it clear by a practical example or uh, uh, now just you will write these steps huh? calculate uh, the amount of in gram of sodium chloride represented by the ingredient step 2 is a uh, calculate the amount in a uh, grams of sodium chloride alone that would be contained in a or that would be required to make a isotonic solution as we know that 0.9 percent uh, weight by volume are 0.9 grams and 100 ml of sodium chloride uh, solution is a uh, isotonic or we can find this uh, that 0 0.009 gram uh, of sodium chloride must be present on uh, and 1 ml to make solution isotonic then by simple proportion we can find this uh, that for 10 ml per for 100 ml for 1000 ml for 50 ml what is the quantity of sodium chloride needed this will be the amount in gram of sodium chloride alone needed to make a isotonic solution what is step 3 and step 3 what we do in step uh, 3 we subtract the amount of sodium chloride represented by the ingredients for example uh, the amount of sodium chloride needed to make the solution isotonic it is represented by a and uh, the amount in gram of sodium chloride represented by individual ingredient or by all ingredient it is a uh, B so we will subtract uh, A from B to get uh, C or the quantity of sodium chloride to be added now we have found this uh, quantity of sodium chloride this will give us the quantity of sodium chloride in a grams but if we have to use some thing some other ingredient is a tonic agent such as boric acid or dextrose what we will do we have found this uh, sodium chloride to be added uh, 
how much quantity of this boric acid uh, or dextrose it will be added. Uh. So we will just uh, our potassium nitrate. Uh, you will just divide the amount of uh, sodium chloride this uh, C by the sodium chloride equivalent of the other substance E value of uh, other uh, substance and we will get uh, this another uh, C for uh, other substances now let us take a practical example and in this example it will become clear all these four steps inshallah they will become clear the first uh, question is uh, how many grams of uh, boric acid uh, I will take this example to make it clear this step number four too clear and some question it is asked it how much grams of uh, sodium chloride uh, should be added in compounding uh, but uh, I take that and this is one example of boric acid should be added uh, in the following prescription phenacane hydrochloride one percent Chlorobutanol is a prescription. Pharmacists are concerned with dealing this prescription, this type of prescription. And uh, what will be the amount of boric acid? Huh? It is quantity sufficient. Purified water is a uh, 60 ml. To make solution isotonic, what will be the quantity of this boric acid which is written as quantity sufficient? What will be this to make the solution isotonic? Now, this in this example, uh, first we will find this. What does this one percent mean? This one percent mean one gram in a hundred ml when it is not written weight by volume or other thing generally it means that 1 gram and 100 ml but we have to prepare 60 ml solution so what will be multiplied by 60 simple proportion if 1 gram is present in 100 ml how many gram will be present in 60 ml so 1 divided by 100 multiplied by 60 this is a simple proportion so it will become 0.6 gram now what will be the quantity of this chlorobutanol this is 0.5 percent I will make it with some other color to make it clear 0.5 percent mean 0.5 grams in 100 ml how much will be present in 60 ml by simple multiplication we will find that uh, it is 0.3 gram now the 60 ml solution contain 0.6 gram of phenacane hydrochloride point three grams of uh, chlorobutanol this is the purified water If you will add uh, both these uh, quantities in 60 ml water, it resulting solution will not be isotonic. Huh? So to make it uh, isotonic, we have to add uh, boric acid into this solution as a tonicity adjuster. But uh, what will be the quantity of this boric acid to be added? So we will use the sodium chloride equivalent method for this. What is the step number first? Step number, uh, I will write it. Step number first, 
in this step calculate the amount in gram of sodium chloride represented by each ingredient in the prescription no 0.6 gram of sodium chloride represent how much of sodium chloride because we are using sodium chloride equivalent method huh? so we are concerned with the sodium chloride so we will find uh, that uh, these quantities they represent how much of sodium chloride so by knowing this uh, we will find that uh, in this 60 ml uh, how much sodium chloride is present and how much we will have to add so this is the first step uh, that uh, in this step we will find uh, that uh, how much uh, sodium chloride is represented by this 0.6 gram of pinacan uh, hydrochloride for this what we will do for this we will do that uh, the quantity of pinacan uh, hydrochloride that is 0.6 gram this will be multiplied by the sodium chloride equivalent uh, or E value which is uh, what which is point two zero this will give us uh, the quantity of sodium chloride okay this will give us the quantity of uh, our weight of uh, sodium chloride how much uh, it will become it will become 0 0.1 0 0.12 0 gram of uh, sodium chloride now here I would make uh, some steps clear that uh, where we will get uh, these quantities as uh, we earlier studied uh, this E value in this E value determination E value of uh, something become equal to molecular weight of uh, sodium chloride divide by I value of sodium chloride molecular weight of other substance divide by I value of huh, other substance but once we got this E value as uh, in case of huh, atropine sulfate uh, we got this E value of uh, 1.2 uh, grams so what we concluded we concluded this uh, uh, that uh, 1 gram of uh, other substance are 1 gram of uh, atropine sulfate uh, found that uh, this 1 gram of uh, uh, atropine sulfate is equal to 0.12 gram of uh, sodium chloride now if we have to found that uh, how many gram of uh, that if a weight of uh, atropine sulfate is 2 gram how many gram of uh, sodium chloride will be represented by this one so we will just uh, make it a uh, simple proportion we will use a simple proportion 1 divided by 2 it will become equal to 0 0.12 divided by x or uh, 1 multiplied by x will become equal to 2 multiplied by 1.2 uh, what does this mean this mean that uh,
x is the quantity of sodium chloride it is equal to 2 is a weight of other substance multiplied by 0 0.12 is the sodium chloride equivalent R E value so that's why to find the here this X we use this formula weight of other substance multiplied by E value and X is the quantity of sodium chloride this formula this uh, E value is uh, available in literature this formula we use because of this now this was for phenocaine hydrochloride that uh, phenocaine hydrochloride represent 0 0.1 to 0 grams of uh, sodium chloride now, what is the weight of a chlorobutanol? It is 0 0.3 gram multiplied by E value. What would be the E value for chlorobutanol? The E value, these values are available in literature and are also uh, given in majority of the problems. These values are uh, given. Sorry, its E value will be it is not 0.3 it is 0.24 so it will become equal to how many grains of sodium chloride it will become equal to 0 0.1 to uh, 0 0.072 0 0.072 grams of uh, sodium chloride so this uh, 3 gram of chlorobutanol represent 0 0.072 grams of uh, sodium chloride now what will be the third step what will be the step number uh, sorry this was a step number first what will be the step number second step number second will be calculate the amount in gram of sodium chloride that is needed to make the solution isotonic as we know that 0 0.9 percent or 0 0.9 gram and 100 ml this solution will be isotonic huh? so if 0 0.9 gram sodium chloride is required for 100 ml for 60 ml how much quantity of sodium chloride will be required huh? this will also be found by a very very simple formula this will become equal to 0 0.540 grams of uh, sodium chloride now in the step number third what we should do we will have to find the quantity of sodium chloride to be added To make solution isotonic this will become equal to the total quantity of sodium chloride that is needed for the 60 ml to make isotonic that is 0 0.540 minus sum of these two 0 0.120 plus 0 0.072 this will become equal to 0 0.540 minus 0 0.192 and this will become equal to 0 0.348 grams of sodium chloride this is needed for 60 ml solution to make it uh, isotonic but there is another problem we are not using sodium chloride for tonicity adjustment 
we are rather using something else we are using boric acid as a tonis, uh, tonicity adjuster so what will be the quantity of boric acid step number four quantity of boric acid we will take this simple formula quantity of other substance multiplied by E value of other substance is equal to quantity of sodium chloride so if we have this and also this we can find this so quantity of boric acid it will become equal to quantity of sodium chloride 0.348 divided by E value of uh, boric acid what is the E value of boric acid we have found it earlier it is 0.52 it will become equal to 0.669 grams of uh, boric acid so this much uh, quantity of uh, boric acid uh, point, uh, six, uh, six, nine grams of uh, boric acid must be added to this prescription to make the solution or to make the rather to we will say that to make the 60 ml solution also tonic which will be containing phenacane and chlorobutanol so to make this solution isotonic we will have to add a 0.669 gram of boric acid if simply sodium chloride is used as a tonicity adjuster we will add a 0.348 grams of a sodium chloride solution sodium chloride to make this solution isotonic but no in the question it is asked that what will be the quantity of uh, boric acid or uh, how many grams of boric acid uh, must be written so the question the answer is a uh, 0.669 gram of boric acid uh, must be added to make this solution isotonic thanks for watching